All right, welcome back to Bayona's RC World, and today is part 10. All right, part 10 of the uh, Top Flight Cessna 182 build series. So let's get back into um, covering uh, the uh, fuselage with fiberglass, three quarter ounce glass, and fiberglass resin. All right, so if you like this type of content, please subscribe, like the video, um, and if you are subscribed, like I said, and I'm gonna keep saying it again, I really appreciate you for uh, taking the time to subscribe to my channel and sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and let's get back to the glasses. We have the 10 yards of um, uh, fiberglass uh, that arrived from uh, Thayer Craft Inc. It's gonna be right here. All right, so that's exactly uh, the uh, company that uh, entertained me as far as uh, fulfilling my needs here, as far as shipping um, all the way out here to the island of Guam. And I really appreciate that. So I got a 10 yard roll. It's more than enough for this top light set. I mean, uh, you know, we could probably cover this uh, thing multiple times. But we got the uh, 10 yards right here. And if you notice, I also have um, on the table, I have uh, my little cushion mat that I uh, put here. It's basically just to uh, kind of cushion the uh, fuselage when I put it over to the side. Inside my thoughts and when I start to think Oh, the time, how close it starts to end up on the brink I tried so hard but all these scars they cut so deep I bleed I fell so fast from heaven It's like someone clipped my wings Now I'm falling And I can't see the ground Stop this gravity It keeps bringing me down I can't breathe And I don't want to die Can we stop this gravity Cause I don't want to say goodbye
That is the uh, skim coat uh, application. So pretty much uh, same procedure as as always I've been using. So uh, just basically reapply the resin. Uh, just basically uh, spread the resin all over the surface that you just applied uh, glass to, and from there we uh, uh, just squeeze that that resin into the uh, the weaves all right so that's that's the main key is just it's just squeezing it um, in there and then uh, once you squeeze all that resin into the all the weaves uh, you just basically uh, put a bit more pressure and take off as much resin as you can uh, and this is basically what we are left with all right so we have a um, uh, a good layer of resin up top all right so once we get to the uh, uh, prepping st uh, stage that uh, glass the uh, resin that you see right there we will basically um, block it down a little bit and uh, get it all nice and smooth all right so we got the uh, left side glassed up all right so that's pretty much uh, just waiting for this to uh, dry up tack up a little bit and then I'll put the skim coat over that and let that dry tomorrow I will attack the uh, top side all right guys so um, we got the uh, Z epoxy zap Z epoxy finishing resin getting mixed up here uh, and if you've been if you already been uh, through my first glassing video here uh, the one right before this then this is nothing new everything is the same procedure we hold each other high but we fall a thousand times but i never say goodbye or ever leave this stuff behind when it's good side of the horizontal fin all right so basically same procedure guys throughout the whole entire plane nothing changes all right so I was going to uh, just fold that down like I did this but you know what I'll just put a little piece there um, this one I'll just leave like that and trim it but other than that I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. I don't need to record that because, you know, pretty much from here on out, I don't think I need to continue 
recording this portion of the glass in. All right, guys. So uh, we got the top flight Cessna 182 all glassed up as far as the fuselage is concerned. Uh, we just this is the last part that I did, and so once this one dries up, we just basically trim everything up, and then we look over here, and then you see who's that? That's my wife. <laughs> So, yep, so there goes the first primer piece, uh, utilizing uh, Bob Moore's uh, blade method for blocking it down, uh, blocking the resin down, look how smooth that, that is, and that's no sandpaper, so awesome stuff. All right. All right, guys, so we're going to basically be sanding. We're gonna go ahead and use the uh, Bob Moore method for majority of it to basically knock down the uh, resin. All right. Okay, so the only thing I want to say I feel is going to be difficult is getting around the uh, on this curve area for the straight blades because then we'll start cutting too low in certain areas where it'll be kind of straight like straight lines instead of a nice continuous flow and then it's going to be kind of difficult to do it like this so I'm probably going to have to use both methods the sandpaper method and also the uh, the blade method so I don't know we'll see For the most part, this is faster. Uh, no clogging of sandpaper right now. And I'm getting a smooth finish right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Unknown brain Marvin Divine uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried Saying that I wasn't right, that I was right by your side You manipulator, playing games, your friends commentators And I don't know what you say about our private conversations But it's got them hating, thanks to all the rumors you be claiming It's cool, I'm done with you, so they can throw you a celebration You gon' hate it when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gon' have you jealous, uh Got the fuse all sanded. Took about 30 minutes. All right, so I used the uh, I used Bob Moore's uh, technique to get the uh, first layer of resin down and all the high spots, and then I used uh, 220 and 320 grit paper to. Uh, Send it to a smooth finish. Alright. So. Alright, so there you go. All sand it down nice and smooth. Alright, guys, so uh, what we're gonna be doing now is actually getting the uh, rear glass um, fixed onto the fuselage so that we can um, uh, get it prepared and blend in uh, with some uh, body filler and stuff once the uh, adhesive dries. So once the, uh, the glue dries up, we're just gonna basically take the body filler and we're gonna uh, blend the uh, rear glass um, and all three points of contact blend it directly into the fuselage into the side of the fuse uh, sand it down and everything get it nice and smooth so it doesn't look like there was even a piece there all right so that's what we're going to be doing so uh so what i did prior to uh doing this is i i painted the uh inside window rails uh white as you can see uh because once we put this in there we're not going to be able to uh, really get in there without trouble uh, so it's going to be just like this um, and so to actually get because you know once you take off the uh, once you paint the surrounding and you take off the, the masking tape you're going to be able to see di directly down into that window sill uh, ledge so uh, you don't want that to be bare wood and uh, I would like to like it to just be white so it can match the uh, exterior portion of the fuse uh, when the fuse gets painted uh, so the next thing we did also was scuff the inner side of the um, rear glass where it's all going to contact and a little bit above so that you can put some glue here and let it drip, let the glue drip down into uh, the edge and then also on the edge itself I went ahead and I added a piece of, uh, I don't know if you can see that, uh, this is basically a piece of basswood uh, as an, an edge just something so that the uh, rear window can actually lean up against uh, and have some glue uh, locked in there. Uh, so I did it on both sides. Uh, the, the instructions does, does basically does not call, uh, ask for that, or, you know, call for that. It just says basically scuff the inside and glue it down. All right, but there's no, that means there's this edge of the um, uh, glass is basically just lean, you know, resting on top of this window edge um, and you're relying on that bead of glue just to hold the whole window back down. So, um, just give it something, um, something for it to grab a hold of. So that's what I did. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this in. Um, we're going to be using, uh, the RC, uh, 256 or 260, uh, canopy glue. And this is what we're going to be using. 
takes about 24 hours for it to really dry so um, once I start gluing this in and taping it down I'm pretty much not gonna be touching this fuse until tomorrow so the rest of the day I'm gonna be um, glassing the control surfaces so that I can go ahead and put the uh, corrugation on the uh, elevator um, uh, what do you call that, pieces all right so that's what we're gonna be doing here
there we go. We got the uh, rear windshield or window or glass or however you want to call it. We got it installed. Uh, we got some body filler uh, to give that nice transition. Um, kind of blend everything in. All right. Um, so we got that going on. Now I also got the uh, control pieces already glassed. I still need to do the bottom side of it. All right. But once uh, once I do that, uh, we'll get the control surfaces down uh, sanded and then we will uh, get the fuse primed up all right so what we're doing here is mapping out the uh, corrugation lines uh, for the elevator and so what I did was I just extended these lines um, that were on the plans and I just extended it past the elevator uh, leading and trailing edge uh, that way I can go ahead and just plop the um, piece on there like so and just basically put your uh, ruler and line up the tick mark so line up the the training and leading edge uh, marks that extends past on the plans all right and then transferring it to the uh, control surface Alright, so the uh, top flight Cessna 182 fuselage is now complete, ready for primer. So as you can see, I already did the body filler on the uh, wheel pants and also primed it, um, but still got to wet sand that and Basically, I'm going to put another coat of primer on there after I do a little bit of the spot putty filling. Uh, I still have some uh, some little uh, chips, or not chips, but some air pockets from the body filler. As you can see right there. So I got to fill that in with spot putty and then just give it a little block sanding and then that would be ready uh, for the final uh, coat of primer. But as far as the fuselage is concerned, it's ready for primer itself. Got the uh, control surface on there. All that's going to come off anyways once uh, we get ready for primer. We are now ready. All masked up. Made my little uh, control surface uh, holder. It's basically so I can hold the control surfaces and... Um, basically shoot the primer even even for the paint uh, that way I don't have to hold uh, the parts uh, or paint one side let it dry and then turn around and paint the other so now I can just do it one shot 
All right, so also got the um, uh, fuse all masked up. Make sure that no uh, paint residue or overspray will go inside and mess up the uh, inside of the glass area, rear, rear glass. So everything is pretty much sealed all the way to the back. Even the back side is sealed, right? Nothing's gonna get in there. All right, but uh, we are now ready for primer. I'm not going to uh, paint the cow just yet. I need the engine. Uh, so that's going to be uh, up next once that engine arrives. Uh, because I know for a fact that I'm probably going to have to trim a little bit more of the cow. Because if you can see it right now, it's kind of going upwards. All right? And that's just cut it following the line and everything like that. But I know I'm probably going to have to trim down here. Kind of bring that cow down just a little bit get that center uh, with a thrust line and everything but I won't know that until I have the engine uh, available so that I have to hold off on but other than that I can um, I can start wet sanding filling and wet sanding depending on what I need to fill there's some areas like right here as you can see uh, that right there will be a little spot putty uh, other than that my, the vast majority of it got a little pinhole right here um, but everything else it's uh, pretty much um, good to go just a little final sanding but even the uh, control surfaces I like how the, uh, the trim tab looks. Uh, I basically got got it the way I wanted it. All right, but that is the uh, top flight Cessna 182 uh, fuselage. All right, um, all primed up and ready for final sanding, and then we will start working with the uh, panel lines and the rivet uh, the rivets um, as far as the panel lines concerned I'm still struggling trying to get good reference material uh, so I can duplicate some of the panel lines uh, more or less where the rivets are located uh, and it's very tough to go online uh, not a lot of um, things on Google uh, shows much of the um, actual surface of the Cessna um, so I'm struggling on that part 
Uh, worst case scenario, I'm just gonna do my own damn panel lines. You know, <laughs> even if it doesn't, I'm gonna try to get it as close, but you know, it's not gonna be exact replica of it, which is, that's fine on me. Uh, I'm not going into any uh, uh, scale competition or anything like that here on the island of Guam. So this is just for my personal use, you know? I like how the, uh, the rear, rear glass, just a little bit of final sanding, but how everything is just all blended into the uh, fuse. All right, no hard edges, just nice and round. And that's basically what I was going for. All right, cool. But there she is, guys. Getting that much closer. All righty. Cessna 182 this is my build series so uh, I know a lot of you guys uh, enjoy the videos you guys enjoy the content you enjoy the information uh, the tips the tricks you know uh, I'm glad to put it out there I'm glad that you are benefiting from it somehow shape or form in your own journey in your own build or your future build uh, you're prepping yourself so um, that's the whole reason why I'm doing the video for one. Um, two, is just the sure love of the Cessna. Uh, I always had loved the Cessna since a child, so this is, this is it, all right? So, as you can see, we got the fuselage all primed up. We got the control surfaces all done on the uh, fuselage. On the wing, we got it glassed. We just, I just finished glassing it just not too long ago, just finished trimming it before I put it on the fuselage, all right? Uh, I got a little bit of scale detail going on, uh, like the door hinges and stuff. It is what it is, just trying to make it look that much more realistic if possible. Um, this type of aircraft is pretty much, and everybody knows, who's built the top flight, you know, a series of aircrafts, from warbirds to civilian aircrafts, uh, sky's the limit when it comes to scale. So it, it's all on you. How far do you want to go in a scale detail uh, to, to replicate the real aircraft or just do your own thing? You know, uh, the sky's the limit. You know, so enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. That's all I can say. So this is part 10. Part 11, we're going to go ahead and map out the, the panel lines, uh, do the rivets. Uh, the glue method as everybody has seen and if you haven't seen it it's uh, you see it on the on the video all right um, but I'm talking to the most of the guys that are on the uh, uh, the Facebook groups but um, yeah so we're gonna do that and hopefully part 11 we could get into the paint job itself but if not then uh, we'll just do the panel lines and the rivets because I know that will take pretty much half the day if not all day but in time-lapse world it'll take like 10 seconds 15 20 seconds the whole day's worth of video uh, so one thing I love about being speeding Gonzalez you know it's just fast everywhere um, and some of you get a kick out of it but that's alright that's cool you know it is what it is so uh, if you like the content you like the videos that I'm putting out, please click that like button and share the videos. Uh, put the word out on the channel. Subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of you who are watching the videos and not subscribing. All right, it's kind of weird when you get 
over, you know, 5,000 people viewing a video, but you only got 100 subscribers. You know, that's kind of weird, right? But just, just saying. Uh, so please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you want to continue receiving, you know, getting informed about the videos I'm putting out, click that subscribe button so that you will never miss another video. All right. Um, other than that, I will see you on part 11, the panel lines and the rivets on the Top Flight Cessna 182 build series. Shoo shoo!